Here are some examples of some blood spatter, and we're going to go through how you would analyze these and what you can information you can get from looking at images such as these. So the first off, uh, it's blood spatter, not splatter. So to spatter means to scatter small particles of a substance, and a spatter is the pattern of drops that result from spattering. A splatter means a larger scatter of particles or substances, and the splatter is a pattern of drops that result from the splattering. So we're looking at blood spatter analysis, not splatter. Just a little kind of look at the kind of definition of the two terms there. So this spatter patterns, blood spatter patterns can vary from a few drops to large pools, uh, but again, all still classified as those spatter uh, patterns. Regardless, the pattern is left by blood traveling in space and then coming into contact with a surface. Now, it could be different types of surfaces at different angles, but this is just speaking in the general terms here. So pattern observations. So here's that same image from the title slide. We want to be make careful observations and measurements of the position and shape of the blood stains because they can provide information of the angle of impact, travel, uh, velocity of the droplets. There's different types of patterns and we can classify them in general as passive, projected, transfer, or contact. All of these can play an important role in determining what have may, may have gone on at a crime scene. So first off, the passive blood stains. They're patterns created simply from the force of gravity. They can be a single drop, they can be a series of drops, they can be a flow pattern, it can be blood pools. Um, all of these are passive because they're relying mainly on the forces of gravity um, to carry them and to move them. Then there's also projected blood stains. These are patterns that occur when a force is applied to the source of the blood. They can be low impact uh, spatters, they can be high impact, can be medium impact, cast offs, tailor spurting in extreme cases, um, uh, blood blown out of the nose, the mouth, or a wound. Uh, in some way they're projected, in some way they have forces applied to them beyond that of gravity. We have transfer or contact blood stains. So here we have these patterns are created when wet bloody objects come in contact with the target surface. This can be used to identify the object or the bloody part. A wipe pattern is created from an object moving through blood stains, while a swipe pattern is created from an object leaving a blood stain. So a little important distinction there. Well, last, we have the blood spatter analysis is important because it can support or refute suspect statements, may be used to help reconstruct a crime scene. Proper analysis can provide the how um, of a crime. So this is why you not just look at as, oh, we found blood evidence. Uh, we want to look at analyzing uh, that splatter pattern.